Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What are Barack Obama's views on climate change? President Obama views climate change as a significant long-term global challenge, posing a greater threat to future generations than any other issue. He emphasizes that no other country is better equipped to lead the world towards a solution to climate change. During his tenure, President Obama implemented various measures to combat climate change. He set a goal to reduce carbon pollution by at least 3 billion metric tons cumulatively by 2030, primarily through efficiency standards for appliances and federal buildings. The Obama administration also launched the Climate Education and Literacy Initiative to ensure all students and citizens have the knowledge and training needed to address climate change. One of his key initiatives was the Clean Energy Investment Initiative, launched in June 2015, which inspired over $4 billion in private sector commitments to reduce carbon pollution through clean energy innovation. Additionally, he played a pivotal role in shaping the Paris Agreement, a global pact involving 196 countries to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. President Obama was committed to raising awareness about climate change. He visited locations like Midway Atoll to highlight the consequences of rising sea levels and other environmental degradation. His administration also took steps to reduce emissions of hydrofluorocarbons, HFCs, potent greenhouse gases, through amendments to the Montreal Protocol. He believed in the importance of economic diversification and job creation for workers impacted by the transition away from coal mines and coal-fired power plants. The American Recovery Act included a $90 billion investment in the green economy, the largest such investment in U.S. history. Furthermore, President Obama established the Arctic Executive Steering Committee to coordinate national efforts in the Arctic and mitigate the impacts of climate change in the region. He also designated Arctic and Atlantic waters as indefinitely off-limits to future oil and gas leasing. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.